Yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back on this episode. I've got a good one for you. The replay of the week, it's Squash Balls, and he has the role of a lifetime. He is taking on the role as Annoying Scout in an all-tier 10. The little Annoying Scout. He's in a, what is this thing? T100 LT. T100 LT, tier 10 Scout in a tier 10 battle, and he goes right up the middle. You know, I was excited when I saw him do this because I wanted to see how this worked out. It's actually a very aggressive spot and quite interesting. And I do not know how. How did how did that happen? He did, <laughs> did not get spotted. He resists the urge to shoot because he didn't get spotted. He just holed up. Now he's got his camo net going and this guy cannot see him. He's got food. He's running two large kits. No fire extinguisher. I'm assuming a gun rammer and probably vents. And where did the other T100 LT go? These things are like Romulans with cloaking devices. They are crazy stealthy. So he's gonna hang out in this bush. The reason I said I was interested in this because I usually just rage for the hill over there and that has not been working out well. You really need some support. It looks like his team is doing the right thing down there, taking it, but for some reason, I'm always the guy who gets there without any support. Now Squash is gonna back up right here seeing if he can't find out where that T100 is, because he's got to get rid of that dude. If he can get rid of that guy, then that's going to open up the rest of the map for him. He ends up shooting in here. And, oh, come on. <laughs> Critical damage. The Centurion's having a hard time killing him. Centurion takes another hit. Squash puts this guy down. And that is kill number one, with a whole 29 hit points of damage. But he now owns this middle. And, even better, there are no enemy scouts left. He is going to play this extremely aggressively. It's one of those things of no, nothing ventured, nothing gained. He uses the bush to approach as much as possible. I might have shifted a little left there and stayed behind those bushes. But now let's talk about the role of most annoying scout. So he is taking on, he is going for the Oscar for most annoying scout in a all tier 10 battle. So let's see if that pans out. All right, guys, circling. What happened there is he sees this FV. The FV has a problem. He spins very slowly, his turret is very slow, and his turret does not go all the way around. So Squash knows this, he's going around behind him. Also, it is important to note that the closer you are to them, the faster your relative turn around them is, meaning that if you're way out here, he's got a lot more time to get his gun on you as your relative line of sight around him is much slower the further away you are. The closer you are, the easier it is to spin around him. That is mitigated by how fast your tank can turn itself as in its whole traverse, how good does it turn? French tanks, for example, the lights are notoriously bad at turning, even though they're quite fast in a straight line. This thing is like one of the hover tanks, like most of the Russian tanks, it can spin around up its own rear end. And he has decided to cut in closer so that this guy has a much harder time getting his gun on him. So that's what he does, he gets in nice and close. He doesn't scrape against them, he doesn't want to hit, hit blah, 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 lose hit points. And he's going to maintain a spot where he can get shots. Watch this. Right for the back sprocket there. The drive wheel. That tracks the guy. The guy fixes it. But an artillery shot. I get by with a little help from my friends. Tracks him once more. And then either he has a very good crew or he had another kit. Probably a very good crew. You can reload or, sorry, repair quite fast indeed these days with all the different bonuses you can get. The 430U shows up and puts a little hammer on him. Squash is very quick with the press the whatever number he's using for his kit, five. And since it's a large kit, he doesn't have to worry about which crew member he's fixing because he had lost a gunner. And losing a gunner in a tier nine, especially in a scrap like this, is a bit of a bummer. So he fixes it right away, and now he runs away. Most annoying scout in a tier 10 match. That's the Oscar he's going for. And one way to do that is to run around like a chicken with your head cut off. At least do it smartly. Poor artillery gets found. This is God's work. Down he goes. Notice how he circled it so the guy couldn't get his gun on. And then once he got to where he was going to cover him up with the rock, he just slowed down but kept moving. And he waited for that reload. As soon as he reloaded, he fired, and off he goes again. He's foot down, mashed onto the accelerator. Additionally, he knew he had some time before the 430U got up here and began, began annoying him. So he comes up here, kills this guy, and now he starts messing with this 430U. Now, 430U is pro problematic. This thing has great armor. He's got to get around the side of it. He does that here. The guy is completely tricked. Holy cow, get off the rock. Squash puts another shot in without returning, without a return shot. 
Now the 430U is kind of holed down and he turns his whole armor towards him and he's angled. This is not going to be good. Squash cannot face to face this guy. The dude takes a shot. I might have taken that opportunity to charge in, but reloads fairly long in the 430U. Discretion being the better part of Valor, he bugs out. Most annoying scout, right? He wants to do damage. Holy cow. The 110E5 has abandoned the flank and come back to cap. You can see where his last known spot of it. Clearly he was within draw range right there. And he ends up putting some damage into Squash's ammo rack, which Squash fixes. That is the right idea. Now remember, every time he presses that, that's 20,000 credits down, unless he has a bunch in his garage, which he probably does because you can win these things quite a bit. There's Nerve, which is a G guy, pretty famous dude in the game. So he's having himself a game too, still alive. And this is basically a raffle stomp. So really the category for this Oscar is most annoying scout in a raffle stomp. 2,577. He's got three kills. Three kills. And the 430U is still after him. The 430U is now aggravated. He is the bull. <laughs> he is the bull seeing red. And uh, you can see it in his, in his way he drives the tank. He's just, oh, he misses. And watch him. He's going to do a little whoop. Nope. Couldn't quite get by. Spin back around. Looking for... Oh, man. I thought that was going to go in. And whoop. <laughs> and those are the kind of things you got to do with a scout. Artillery comes in, and he notices. Obviously, the guy, get, the guy just fired. He was running away, but then the guy gets tracked, stopped, and stunned. So his, re, his reload is much slower, and he knows he can get in there and get a side shot without the guy turning his front armor. Just backs right up and takes him down. And this is a clinic in the highly mobile scout use right here. He's got four kills, and now he's just pushing towards the hit points. A lot of people will sort of sit back and go, I don't want to die at this point. Why? Just get in there, start killing him. There's Nerve. He's working on this 110E5. Comes in here, and he's bouncing a little bit. 110E5 takes a hit. K91's going one direction. Squash decides to do the same thing. He's going to come up and around. Little auto-aim, and bloop, takes the guy down. <laughs> For his fifth kill. And off we go. Now watch this. This is something then you need to learn how to do with your scouts and mediums. The IS-7 is there. You'll see Squash come around. He takes a nice aim shot. No hurry. Right into that back drive wheel. Drive wheel. Tracks him. He's got him pinned down. Any damage done by anyone else he shares now. So that's good for experience. And in addition to that he gets another easy shot into a weak area because he's tracked the guy. He hasn't even touched number two right here. This is all regular AP. Tries to do the same for the Super Conqueror, but no big deal because it ends up being a kill. Holy cow, dude. Seven kills, 3,700 on the damage, and that is definitely up there in a nomination for the Oscar for Most Annoying Scout in a Tier 10 Raffle Stomp. I mean, you were all over the place. Now, let's be fair. It's very possible you go raging up the middle like there, like you did right there, and there's two of those large TVs, and they bap, bap, two-shot you. But that's not what happened. And sometimes when you're playing this game, that kind of move can really break open the game. It looked like the team was obviously on, the, on its way to a win anyway, but once you got into the backfield and started wiping out the snipers that may have otherwise helped them get a little closer, it was all over but the shout. And you pulled the 430U out of there, you killed the scout to begin with, or it helped to kill the scout, which was very important. They didn't have all the sniper shots on your guys. Kill the scout, get in there, kill a big Death Star, run down and keep busy the 430U, and then you're just all over the place. So nice job, man. Thanks for sending that in. That was a good replay. Everybody, thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, we're starting to roll now. I really appreciate it, and we will see you.